Hey, what's up? I'm Austin Griffith, and I've been exploring how to build a really simple proof of concept for a token subscription service. So basically, the, the TLDR is you've got a publisher that has some kind of service or content, and then you have one or more subscribers that want to send ETH or some kind of token, actually, in particular, a token at this point, but I think it will evolve to ETH, maybe. Basically, they want to send a token in on some kind of interval, and they don't want to have to get in and submit a transaction every time. So we're going to leverage meta transactions. If you want to learn more, check out EIP 948 or EIP 1337. Lead. They're going to be more advanced than what I'm building. This is just a proof concept. You can jump on the repo to check out the abstract or just jump on sub.metatx.io. That's where the, uh, the hands-on demo is available. It, it kind of builds off of MetaTX, my uh, other meta transaction demo. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is deploy a contract. So uh, whether you're a publisher or a subscriber, you should probably deploy your own contract. It's cheap, it's easy. Um, what, what did that cost? Like 68 cents to get this contract out there and it, it almost acts as your identity. You can charge it up with, with ETH or tokens and then you can subscribe to multiple things just by filling this out. You, you could use the one that's live like right on the site to start subscribing. It's on Rinkaby. There's only like one meta transaction, like one desktop worker. So it'll break if you mess with it too hard. But uh, so here is our contract that's deployed. I own it here. We can go look at the source code. It's all open and available on Rinkaby. Alongside of uh, this contract, I've also deployed a stable coin. So we're going to grab that. Okay, so let's say we're a publisher. So, so like I said, subscribers should probably deploy their own contracts, but I'm going to kind of go at this at a different angle a little bit and say, what if I'm a publisher? How do I, how do I very easily get someone who, who's sort of on board with, with uh, moving ERC-20 tokens, but uh, maybe not my particular website? So I'm going to set up in this gross nerd UI of mine. I really, really need a designer. So I'm going to set up, we're going to go one minute. And so instead of like once a month, we're going to say once a minute, we're going to throw that uh, stable coin in. And it's good to have a stable coin so you don't have to worry about the fluctuations of price over a year if you're doing like a, you know, a 12 month subscription or something like that. Let's say we're going to send one token or so, so I'm the publisher here and I'm going to send this to a subscriber. So this, I'm just going to set this form up. I'm not actually going to submit it. So I'm thinking of what I want them to do. So I want them to send me one of these stable coins once a minute for the next like five minutes, right? And so the two address is actually going to be me, this little yellow dude here. And let's not worry about gas. We'll talk about that in a second. You can incentivize that, that secondary uh, off-chain relayer network to, to put your meta transactions up on chain. But we're gonna assume that basically the publisher could do it or anybody can post it up. So we're gonna assume that the economics at play are, are solid and this is gonna get submitted. So what I can do is go down to the share URL once all of this is there. And so let's say this other dude on the internet is like, bro, I want to subscribe to your service. So I shoot him this, uh, this URL or probably, sh you know, shorten it, maybe hit it with a QR code. Right. Uh, I'm not a UI UX expert, uh, here. So this is kind of pretty uh, gross looking. We're going to make it look a lot better, but so he pastes that URL in and basically everything is ready to go for him. It, he can see, he can clearly see that like, okay, so once a minute, I'm going to send this token one at a time to this address. What I need to do right now, I don't have any approved, but I have a balance of 17. Let's just say he's like, okay, well, let's spend the next 10 minutes sending these one at a time. Maybe it'd be better if that was 10 months. Okay, let's do 12 months, uh, once a month our minutes are going to be months here. So this is the one time that the subscriber has to do something on chain. He needs to approve the subscription contract to move these tokens. So nothing is being moved right now. He's just saying, I, I trust the code on this subscription contract to move these one at a time, once a month with a, with an upper bound of 12 and he can get in here at any time. So you can kind of control how the subscription works in terms of like, maybe you want to pause it for a month. Maybe you want to cancel it all together. You can just jump in here and change that approval. And that's going to uh, keep it from running more and more. 
And uh, that's why you want to have your own contract because the approval works per contract. So if you were to use the public contract and you had multiple subscriptions going, it would get messy. It's good to deploy your own contract for your subscriptions, basically. Okay, so the token's in there. We've approved 12. It's ready to go. We're not going to worry about the incentive layer. We are ready to subscribe. So this is going to be off-chain. I'm going to sign this transaction once, and that's the key. I signed that once, and I'm done. And basically, from now on, for the next 12 months or 12 minutes, it is going to take care of it for me, and I don't have to worry about it. I, I can basically sit back and let that subscription go. And on the other side, we should be able to see that, yeah, so, so this guy can kind of get some analytics into who's subscribing to his service. So he's got one active subscriber. He, he can sign it. This is another incentive layer thing that you don't need to worry about right now. If you get into the contracts, there's there's reasons for the contract owner to sign these certain things to give more privileges, and it has to do with this gas token stuff. But for now, we're, we're going to slowly earn tokens over here, and these tokens are going to slowly spend. So now that 12 is down to 11. We've, we're one minute into it, one month into it. We've, we've paid one time. Okay, so basically this is going to work. We can walk away, we can go to the bar, have a little wine. Basically, things are running and working. But let's talk about that secondary incentive layer. So what if it's not the publisher posting the transactions? What if there's this peer-to-peer -peer network and you need to incentivize them to push your stuff up once a month, right? Because someone's got to pay the gas for that. Someone's got to be paying attention. Someone's got to get it. Like when, when the block comes along that says, okay, it's been a month, you're, you're live now, you want that to get submitted because you want your publisher to, to, to catch the funds, right? So if we were to, let's change this up a little bit and say, let's send, uh, so we're sending one token each month to the publisher, but let's send maybe 0.01 tokens to the, uh, the miner, the desktop miner, and let's send it from us. So we'll throw our, uh, it's purple guy. Yeah, okay, so purple guy is the payer. So now in this situation, we can go ahead and subscribe, and we've already set up uh, an allowance, so that's going to go. So now we actually have two subscriptions running at once, and they're going to be battling. But basically, now that's like an incentivized set of uh, transactions, and they're all ready to go. They're stored uh, in a centralized server. It'd be better to have like a peer-to-peer -peer network, but that's that's the incentive layer. And let's say, okay, let's let's instead of paying them in this dumb token I just created. I mean, it should just be a nice stable coin that's going to be a perfect value. But let's say instead of my dumb coin, let's want to let's pay them in ether, right? So you would set your gas token to zero. You would say maybe 0 0.008 or I think five was what I used in my MetaTX demo, and it seemed to cover the cost. You can see the miner down here, and you can see the miner's gas kind of slowly going down. By the way, if you're ever running this demo and the miner doesn't seem to be doing anything, it gets locked every once in a while. I have to get in and unlock it still. So, like, my demos are still pretty, uh, you know, taped together with duct tape. Uh, so, yeah, so the payer this time would not, would actually be this contract. Okay, so this is where we're going to kind of get into some of the, the details here. So the contract is owned by Yellow Guy. And I'm saying I want the contract. So I'm actually going to just trash the gas payer. You can put in the contract address or you can leave the gas payer empty. And I'm going to say I want to incentivize that second layer with 0 0.0005 ETH for each transaction they submit for me over the next 12 months or whatever it's going to be. I want the contract to pay for it. And I can hit subscribe. That's totally fine. Basically, I'm just signing this and shipping it off. So now on the publisher side, I've got this new uh, uh, active subscription that shows up. And what I need to do here is sign that. And there's not a lot of details here. We, we'll need a better dashboard. We'll need a better analytics. We'll need to understand, like, what, what, what am I actually looking at here? What am I agreeing to? But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of sign the fact that this, this, dude, this dude looks legit. I'm okay with my contract paying for his gas fees because he's sending me a token that's worth way more, right? And so I'm okay with that. I hit sign. On the next mine block, we can see that that transaction is going in. It's going to blow. The, the problem is our contract doesn't have any ETH in there. So let's go ahead and send some ETH to that real quick. But basically, that's it. We're, we're, 
sending on a, a periodic basis tokens from one or more subscribers to a publisher. We're doing it um, sort of with meta transactions so we can submit them over and over again with kind of a little nonce trick that goes on there. You can check out the contracts there in the GitHub, uh, jump on the demo and play around with it. If anything breaks or anything's not working, hit me up on Twitter, uh, check out the leet EIP and check out 948 EIP. Um, thanks a lot. Check it out. Uh, hit me up. Um, let's, let's work on some token subscription services.